my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video four in our shabby triple stack book series. And um, to say I'm more than a little bit bummed would be an understatement. The whole thing that I wanted to show you, well, I mean, other than how to do a stack, is that I wanted to show you how to um, add some windows to some of these envelopes. So, do you see any windows? I didn't realize until I had gotten two of the stacks done that I had neglected to add the windows on the envelopes. So, we're just going to do without. Um, most of the book is going to be you papering because, like I said, if I papered the whole thing, it would be a book on paper, or a video on papering, a video series on papering. We're going to do the cover. Um, I noticed that there was a problem with how heavy this is going to be with the flip open and the uh, hinge. So I took this off, made it very not pretty, but then we're just going to go ahead and glue it on the front. Now here's something else that you may not have noticed the thing keeps going like this. So we are going to have to reinforce the um, spine like I was originally going to do and then changed my mind. <laughs> so we've got this big stack and we've made the base and here's the back and here's the rest of the back. And so now we're going to work on this page right here. We haven't glued any of these in yet, thank goodness. I only say thank goodness because my luck has not been going very well <laughs> on or off camera. Okay, so we've got our envelope and I've cut the flap off the top. These are cream colored, but I didn't have any other envelopes the right size that were uh, white. Actually, I do because we're not going to end up opening them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like I said, doesn't matter. We're going to be papering them. Um, and in fact, we're going to be doing that now. We're going to put them across this way. And then, um, We are going to put a window in. I was going to put two, but now that I see how much is sticking out, I didn't even realize it was that much. Oh, I know why, because I was going to fold it back. That's why, because of the back. Um, it still wouldn't have mattered. Um, All right, let me think about this for just one second. Let's, um, let's carry on word and upward. All right, let's mark it here. Let's do one. I'm going to do the other one off camera anyway, so let's do an experiment and see if it works. I'm going to score it here. Oh, I need to do them at the same time.
Well, I had actually changed my mind about folding them over. But let's go ahead and do it. Then I'm just going to have to ink behind. On part of it. So, anyway, yeah, I was um, pretty bummed when I realized what I had done. I knew it was going too smoothly, semi-smoothly. And, uh... Yeah, and it was Christmas. <laughs> and I was like, Merry Christmas to me. Now, we're going to end up sealing this up so it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, it doesn't matter that one's going to be frontwards and one's going to be backwards because I scored it on the wrong on the wrong end. No, I didn't. Now we're gonna cut the windows in this at the same time because it's not going to matter um, that the window goes all the way through because we're going to cover it up here. It's going to be against the back. So we can go ahead and see. No, we can't because we want to be able to paper the inside. Yeah, I had it to where I had changed my mind. This one I did right out. The other ones were too short. Well, they were too long too. Why didn't I just use these? Yes, why didn't I? Would have been much easier, huh? And just make them pockets. Okay, so. Yeah, we're just going to put them on here. We're going to put windows, make them pockets. And I think that'll be fine. And they're a little bit narrower, it seems like, because we've got more space, which is great. Okay. So, let's put them both right side up. And paper them first. mess. This 
So we're just going to paper the fronts. And this is directional. So I'm going to cut the width first so I know this one's the right width. And then I'll, all I have to do is measure for the height. Would be where this one comes in. Well, let's double check it first. Mm I'm glad you got to watch me ink those envelopes for nothing. <laughs> it was fun, right? Fun while it lasted. The reason I'm going to do them at the same time is so that the uh, window is in the same spot. on both. The other one, I was going to fold it over and make two pockets out of the one envelope. But as you can see, I'm having a bit of technical difficulties in my brain. So, that wasn't going to work. I think it would have been too thick is what I'm getting at to fold correctly. I had to move one of the magnets around in the the top stack as well because there was one hanging out in there that didn't have a match so it means I had forgotten to put the second one in for it when I put the second one in it didn't it didn't hold it it wasn't in, in a good spot so I had to move it um, it won't make any difference for um, our purposes. Because I'm just showing you how. And then everybody's stacks are different depending on what the base is, the size, and everything that you're, you know, starting with. Also, that means we have that tab on the front that goes nowhere because the thing's not going to flip open, but that's okay. I'm going to pretend like I put it on to put a charm on there. And then we're just going to put it on, hopefully I'll remember, put it on as a pocket. I want to make sure the text is going the same way. Even though you can't really read it, you can tell whether it's right side up or upside down. Okay, 
so I don't need this one. big shot most of most of you who have watched my videos know um, but if you don't this is a die cut machine die cutting machine and um, it's called a Sizzix big shot Sizzix is the brand name and you use it to to cut things out of paper either windows out of things or uh, shapes out of paper, things like that. So you can cut out plants and you can do all kinds of nifty things. No, the handle is not supposed to come off. Getting this one straight is going to be a little dicer because we have the vertical lines. So you want to make sure we have it as straight as possible. That hurt. My plates are getting a little warped. Sorry about that. put the curved plate in the wrong way. Not the wrong way, but the wrong way for the easiest cutting. Did it go through the second one? Just didn't go through the back. That's fine. Made sure it was glued down really well, though. Didn't get the bottom half of this window. Just got the paper part, not the envelope part. Well, we have to open it up anyway, so I'll trim it out. Or no, the whole point was to avoid opening it up, wasn't it? I don't see how two thicknesses of paper and then these tiny, tiny thin envelopes would have not, would have been too thick. Beyond me. I guess I could line it up and run it back through. It would be my luck that it would end up being crooked. Yeah, I'm not going to. These are starting to get curved. All right, this is how not to make an envelope stack. I'm not going to worry with this one right now. I only need to show you how to make the one. Okay, so now we're going to open this up. 
and then we're going to how did that seal it? You know what? We have to open it up because we have to put the acetate in. So that wasn't helpful at all. So we did all that for nothing. All right, so let's ink it. See, if I had used the big one at this point, I could have just said the heck with it and put it on as a big belly band with a giant writing card. That would have been a, a very large writing card. So I may actually start over on the other one. Well, there's no real reason to. Oh, I see why. That's why, because of the plastic. It, this was folded over right here like that. If I'd have opened it like this, both of them, it would have cut through just fine. It was this plastic. It was the double layer of the, the pull-off tape. Acetate. I'll just cut a little bit off the end of this scrap. And glue it on. Which is much easier to do when you use the heavier ST. That was an example. Now we've got our window. Nice big one, too. And we can actually paper this. piece big enough to cover the window and then a little bit more. And this way we're going to be sliding the papers in and out. So let's go ahead and make it, well we want to be able to close the envelope back up, don't we?
which is not that. It's this that. <laughs> So let's close it up to make our lives easier. Except for the part where I just put acetate over the... Wow. This has been an experience, this video. You know, we could have just left it. We would have seen the window, the paper behind. Do you know what I mean? And then um, when you put the card in, you got the card. And then when you pull the card out, uh, you see the paper in the back. That's all I would have had to do. I didn't have to cut this piece could have saved this piece of paper. Okay, now we want to um, cut this end. And then I cut it too short. I'm not really sure how I managed that. That'll be fine because we'll have the card sticking out. So that'll work out. All right, now we can slide this in. And all we have to do is glue this part right here. So we basically made a tube, the window. I still wish I'd have realized I could have just left it out, I guess, but I'm going to paper this envelope. Yeah, see, I had that for the thing, the notes I had made for myself was um, 
if I was going to use the long one. I've added a couple of other um, paper packs by Pink Monarch. No. My Porch Prints. I don't know why I get those two confused. They're not the same. And I'll write, I'll link them below so that you've got the names of all of them. Oh, I so cannot see that. There it is. <laughs> hey, look at me go. Look at me go and grow a brain. Actually, I think I grew half a brain was all because it didn't hurt very much. <laughs> you make sure it's the right size and then we'll ink it up. I could use just a hair off the edge. The reason I'm putting it that far down is because the opening to the envelope, it's hard to see, comes down to here. So I want it right below that. I'm going to wait and see how that other envelope turns out before I glue it on. Because if I have to redo it, there's no way I'm going to line those windows up again. So you know what that means. You would think I would be able to cut out one side of a rectangle. You would think. Okay, now. This actually um, is directional to me because I think this is directional, but that's not the way the paper was printed. You know, this is the 8, this is the 11. Um, so then I'm going to make it face to the right so that the bottom is on the left side of the image. It's hard to tell on camera, I'm sure. Anyway, in case I have to redo them both, 
I don't want one of them already glued down to the page. Because that would just be Marvy, wouldn't it? And then I'll put you guys on pause real quick and then get everything ready for the next section that we're going to do. I thought this would take longer, even though it's been a nightmare. I thought it was longer in time. Apparently, I'm efficient even when I mess up. <laughs> I mess up efficiently. Appears to be crooked right there a little bit, but have the envelope right there. So the whole idea is we're going to glue this on. You'll have the pocket here, and then we're going to glue it on as a pocket itself. So you'll just glue these three sides. And that's all there is to it. And just make sure you've got enough room for both. Yeah, see, it couldn't cut through this other layer of this. Well, isn't that special? Okay, I'm going to put you on pause and I'll do this one and then we will come back and put them on the envelope. Okay? So, I finally got that other one done. It really wasn't that big of a deal. It worked much better off camera. It just went just like that, except I forgot to um, ink this when I cut it off. I think I did on the other one, too. So, we're going to put these on, and then we're going to paper one of the CD covers. Actually, I only need one of the two papers that I got out. And then, I think that's... My friend showed me this. If you glue a button onto your um, inking tool there, if it tries to roll away, it'll only go so far because it'll hit the button either way. It, either way it goes. See, it, it'll hit the button and it doesn't roll all over your desk that way. Genius. Thank you, Joy Alderson from Joy's uh, Junk Journal with Joy. Um, yeah, let's put these on. And remember, they're pockets. So we're going to glue these three sides. This one's going to line up even with the bottom. I'm on my other stool. It's got like a tractor seat. seat, And um, I, it is so much more comfortable than my stool. But it's about two inches shorter. So I'm going to try to not go off camera because I have a tendency to pull things closer to me. Because I'm two inches shorter, I wish this was taller. This is so much more comfortable. Let's get this on here. Let's leave our little border. Okay, and then let's leave about that much. We'll put this one on. I 
and then getting a little carried away with the glue. So now they're pockets themselves and their pockets on the side. Okay. This one's okay. It's kind of stuck a little bit. This one seems crooked. Oh, I like that. Okay, so now that's going to go. And I've got the other two things set up. I just have to ink the envelopes. Um, so that's going to go here. That looks nice. So let's paper clip it. And then this is going to go here. Now we're not going to paper this one, remember, because it's the same as doing this one, only bigger. And then in the back, we're going to add this on. And then this is what's going to go inside here, front and back. So we're almost... <laughs> We're almost done. No, we're not almost done. Not at all. So with this, I hate to do that. I really don't want to cut the big rows out. Let me save these two. Most of them are like this, though. You know, I could, let's use this one. Could use this one and this one. Or this one. Kind of like this. Hmm. I've also got the, the new ones that I printed out are these. They're a little shabbier, though. They're a little more Grandma's Attic type. So I'm not sure if I'm going to mix them in or not. That's just so dark. I'm going to go with my first that I want. And the rose is going to get cut out, so the rose is going to get cut out. I'll just print out another one. It's just a repeating pattern, so it does not matter that I flipped it over. I'm just making it to where I can. Let's see. Man, my fingers are like snossages. <laughs> okay. We have this left. That's nice. Okay, now I should use this as a template for the other one, but these are generic. Um, Amazon CD covers, and they're not uniform. get out the largest circle one that I have, which is a little bit smaller than the CD hole or window.
And I think I should probably do this from the back, but I kind of like the little pattern that the blades leave. At least I got the blades on there the right way, or the, I just had a whole stack of envelopes fall off of the table. We've got this circle. Actually, the pattern's on the circle, but we still have these two. We can use all of them as cards. Well, I have to do the other one, so I might as well leave that out. So then we're going to ink it. We're going to. Then we're going to. That turned out all right, though. I like this paper a lot. It's easier to ink the outside edges if you do it before you cut the circle out. This makes it awful flimsy. I'll do the other one off camera. Now there's text on here, so I want the text to be right side up. I'm going to have to fill my glue too. It's half full, but that makes me crazy when I have to wait for the glue. So as long as I have glue, I keep it full. You know, as long as I have a bottle that I can refill from. Oops, I did such a good job and I forgot to do this. I didn't have anywhere to put my fingers. <laughs> and then remember we have to paper the inside. Opposite. Paper this with that. And paper the inside of this with that. And the inside of this one with that. I don't really want to cover it up. I'd really rather make the two cards out of that. So let's use this to paper the inside. In fact, I can do it like I was going to do. paper but make it smaller. It's just as easy to do it the other way. I have no idea why I didn't just do it from the edge.
excuse me. I'm wondering. I think I can paper the insides of both with this. I can. All right, I like this paper better. I think I'm going to put it in the very front one. just going to glue the front edge to hold it in and then nothing will get caught on it and it won't pull back out. I like that. Okay. Is it big enough? Nope. Excuse my sniffles. I just got the itch in my throat all of a sudden. Okay, so now all I have to do is cover that. Why is the there's a magnet there, but it doesn't seem to be. That one's sticking. Where's this one supposed to go to? Did we not put one? Oh, because this is going to hold it shut. Then why do I have a magnet here? There's a pencil mark there. But then I took it off. Why? Why did I do that? You have to be careful with these. You can break them too. They're only one millimeter thick. These are 10 millimeters by one millimeter. So when you go to order them, you can get them on Amazon um, 150 at a time for, I think it's $10. Um, Look for the 10X, 10 mm x 1 mm So they're the 10 by 1 millimeters. So that makes... Well, it must be 18. It can't be an odd number, so that must be 18 magnets now. There we go. And then this one's tied shut. Okay, and then I'll just paper this one off camera. And I will paper it. I guess I'll paper it with the same paper because I used the opposite that I was going to use to fill that in. So... I think, what do you think about that? Yeah, you don't really see this background. Maybe if I do this part here. Remember, there's going to be a big hole in the center. Okay, let's do that. I know I said I was going to do it off camera, but we have five minutes. Except I lost my lines. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, there's my other line. All right, so I'm going to ink it and cut the hole in it off camera. Then in the next video, we're going to um, build the last two sections. I think we can get two of them in. And then um, we'll go back and we'll start, um, we'll finish papering this and we'll put it on the cover. And we will um, put the one in the inside, or the two on the inside. We might be able to build it out in two videos, okay? So we'll see how it goes. And uh, that'll be the end of this video. <laughs> you like that segue? That'll be the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.